your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Dia Wall with 41 Action News. These are your headlines for July 14th. Kansas Congressman Steve Watkins faces three felony charges. They include providing false information to law enforcement, voting without being qualified, and unlawful advanced voting. The Shawnee County District Attorney announced those charges today. Watkins serves the second congressional district. He's currently running for re-election. Police records show that officers were called five different times this year to the home of a three-year-old girl killed in KCK. You'll remember Olivia Jansen's body was found buried off a walking trail Friday evening after an Amber Alert was issued that morning. KCKPD provided 41 Action News with call logs. One of those five calls was a report of juvenile abuse, but it's not clear who that report was referring to. Police also investigated a suicide at the same home. Olivia's father, Howard Jansen III, and stepmother, Jacqueline Kirkpatrick, are both charged with first-degree murder. The Wyandotte County Jail website says Olivia's father and stepmother appeared in court Tuesday for a case review. A Kansas City, Missouri police officer is improving after a shootout left him fighting for his life. Police said that doctors upgraded him to stable condition this morning. He still needs some help breathing, though. The officer was shot in the head during a shootout earlier this month near 31st and Van Brunt. The suspect who shot at the officers died in that shootout. Jeff Penner has our forecast now. Thanks, Dia. Now to 9 p.m., hot and humid, but watching for thunderstorms to form up in northern Missouri. Then 9 p.m. to 2 a.m., the thunderstorms will try to organize more and start to head south. A few may have damaging winds. And then 2 to 9 a.m., that's when the thunderstorms that are ongoing here will get joined by some from the west, setting up a zone of some very heavy rain and maybe even flash flooding, probably north of Kansas City. We will keep a close eye on that. Hopefully we'll just get some rain because a heat wave begins on Saturday. You get your news and weather anytime on KSHB. Dot com.